Hey y'all, this is a voiceover video. This is my Sunday reset video that I've always wanted to film for y'all. This is technically what I do on a regular basis. Right now I'm cleaning out my refrigerator because uh, it got a little junky, y'all. I'm not even gonna lie, it's been a couple of months since I cleaned my refrigerator. Don't judge me, do not judge me. This is a judge-free zone over here. It's been a while since I cleaned out my refrigerator, but I had to get it done because I know we had to go grocery shopping. This video was filmed actually in two days because I can't do a full video on one day because it's too much. Plus editing and putting it up is too much. So this is actually technically Friday when I cleaned out my refrigerator. Um, <clears throat> I did let my daughter come in and help me clean up because me bending over in that refrigerator all the time, no. I had my Padre come in and help me clean the refrigerator. She did a pretty good job on it. I had to go over a few spots for her, but other than that, we got it done. So let's clean out this refrigerator, y'all. Now, clearly, in this clip, you can see this another day. This was actually Saturday. <laughs> we went to the laundromat. Now, technically, I washed clothes on Sunday. But since I had so many clothes to wash, I said, I'm going to just go ahead and go on to the big laundromat and wash. Because we have a laundromat out here where I live at. I don't have a laundry. I don't have a washer and dryer in my home. So, I have to go outside the home. So, I normally go to this place right here when I have a lot of clothes to wash. So, I did go wash clothes this day, which is Saturday. 
um just to add it into my sunday reset because i do actually wash clothes on sundays but we had got so backed up in clothes i was like ain't no point in me trying to go take it to these little washing machines out here where i live at let's just go to the laundromat so that's what i did me and my second daughter went to the laundromat because i try to swap them out and give everybody a job to do so you seen in the first clip my daughter did the refrigerator my second child gonna do the laundry with me or help me do the laundry and help me record this part so that's what how we do it normally on in my house we like switch out like kids <laughs> between those two i don't really make my son do much because he's only six and he he got a whole issue going on with him so i normally just switch out with my girls and let them help me do stuff around the house or anything that i need done there help me do it so yeah y'all so we at this laundry mat washing our clothes getting ready for the next day or next week when they go back to school so let's get into washing these clothes y'all All right, y'all. Now we're about to go fill up Betsy because she needed some gas. Betsy was pretty low, y'all. So I had to go to the gas tank after we left the uh, laundromat to fill up this gas tank, y'all. I normally try to keep my gas tank full if I can. If not, it's whatever. But I went on and filled up this gas. So, yeah, that's basically all I did. And then we now we into the part where we go grocery shopping. <laughs> Okay, now this grocery shopping trip was a little short because I did not record everything that I did. I didn't record everything I got, but I did get a lot of food. As y'all going to see when my daughter puts it in the refrigerator, y'all going to see all the stuff that I bought. Well, you're going to see the majority of the stuff that I bought, like my meats and stuff. I didn't show all that. I just want to show y'all a few clips of like the vegetables I like to eat and, you know, stuff like that and the fruits and stuff. So, yeah. That was basically all I got out of Walmart because I tell y'all, when you go on Walmart, Walmart is so ghetto, y'all. I, I don't know what's going on with Walmart, but this day, I was just ready to get my stuff and get out of there. I did not want to even be in there. And then we went to a store called Food Line to get my meats and stuff. So, yeah, I had to get about it from Walmart, y'all, because it was just too much going on. As y'all see in this clip, my daughter is putting away for, putting away the groceries. Even though she just throwing them in the refrigerator, she putting them away. We had to go back in and get all the stuff out the refrigerator because she just was just throwing meat in there. And at the at the time I was recording this video, y'all, I was not paying any attention to her just throwing the meat in there. I just thought she was putting stuff in there. And I looked back at the clips, I'm like, she just throwing the food up in there. And then they went downstairs and he was like, why is all the hamburger in the refrigerator? <laughs> like, what is going on? And I'm like, you know, Josiah put that stuff away. That's probably why it looks like that. But anyway, she's going to put all this stuff away and, and we're going to move on to the next segment of this video, y'all. She's putting up the rest of these groceries. Now we're going to jump into the nighttime when Bay start cooking. I did not cook this Sunday. Well, today is Sunday when I'm recording, when I'm doing this voiceover. 
But Saturday, I said, I might as well just go ahead and throw in you cooking because I'm probably not going to cook tonight because of what he, what he cooked yesterday. Yesterday, he cooked lasagna. I was like, well, we can just eat that for Sunday. Ain't no point in me cooking Sunday, too. when we can just go ahead and eat that up. So I got some clips of him cooking, even though it was a really hard task <laughs> cooking with him because he's in the kitchen dancing, singing, doing everything with what he's supposed to be doing. And it takes forever to record with him. Like, I swear, I sat down still for like two hours waiting for him to cook because he'd get distracted. He want to sing. He want to dance. He just, the whole time I'm behind the camera, like, if you don't hurry up and cook. And mind you, then, it was like 9 o'clock at night. I was tired. Like, we did that. I don't know what we would be going through Bae's mind when he be cooking. Like, he just got to get in the mood to cook. He said that's normal. People be wanting to get in the mood when they cook. I don't get in the mood. I want to get out the kitchen. That's what I want to do. I don't want to be in the kitchen long. So I just go ahead and cook and get on up out of there. But he he, he a whole character by himself, y'all. But <laughs> anyway, we made garlic bread, salad, and lasagna. So this is how he make his lasagna. I'm trying to learn because he got some bomb lasagna, y'all. So I'm trying to learn how to make his lasagna. And don't seem complicated, but you know... If, uh, when a person been cooking for so many years, they got that special touch that you be trying to find it, but you can't find it because you haven't been cooking as long as this person. So that's what I was doing, y'all. Standing in the kitchen trying to figure out what he do to his lasagna. And now we about to have a dance session, y'all. <laughs> now that he got that out of his system, now we about to put the lasagna together. <laughs> Yo, I just laugh at this man because he is so damn silly. Now we about to put this lasagna together after the 45 minutes I've waited to put this lasagna together. Oh, we did make some corn, some corn back there on the stove too. Um, this is how he assembled his, so I'm going to just sit back and let y'all watch how he assembled his. All right, y'all, we about to close out tonight. I had my salad and my lasagna. This is what it looked like, and it was bumping, y'all. I'm going to close out this video. I hope y'all guys enjoy it. If y'all do, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one.